No puppies yelling, please. Quiet on set. I think switching it up and going early will confuse Billy maybe about you now he always gets hype right around eight o'clock and goes on the bed and Oh yeah. Huh. Maybe. <laughs> and um Cujo. What's up, y'all? Cujo. Enough. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, No. Cujo. Hello, everybody. It's okay, it's delicious. You can go, that's such a, it's, we did some bathroom countertops in uh, Baltimore. Is it Baltimore? Maine or something? Maryland. Maryland. Um, pink and gold, and it came out awesome. We used uh, gold leaf, too. Ooh, what if you did like some gold leaf first? Do it, do it just quick with a quick brush. So then it's kind of solid, but it kind of fades off into places. And then do a clear, and then do the white, and then the pink. I don't know. Good morning, good morning, good evening. Good morning. Shelly Lemon said, you know I need this information. I know it. Yeah, we're going to start. Uh, well, Manuel, I, I'm not a fan of adding sand to a canvas. Like, I don't, I don't think you, like, maybe, maybe a, a small piece, but a large piece, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't look right. I, I don't think. I think it would look. Um, I think it would just be, uh, it's hard to explain. Adding sand. Like real sand to a canvas. Here's a problem with that. Real sand changes color when it gets wet. And it's ugly. Yeah, and then how much are you going to put on? Judy, what's up? Judy! Um, you know, you can't put like a mound of sand on. You know, so... Why not just use, why not just use this, uh, that stone stuff that we use and just get different colors and, you know, this stone stuff. That's what we do. And we actually have a, an ocean piece coming up. Maybe tomorrow. We gotta do those cradle boards, B. Yeah. It's kind of, uh, it's a little overcast here, so I didn't realize how dark I was there. Y'all, it's in the 70s today. Well, that's super nice. Good morning. What's up, Teresa? TG. So you want me to do this? How much do you want me to lay down of the gold leaf? Oh, I don't know. That's if you wanted. That was just a suggestion. You don't have to. I think it would look fun. The worst case is that it'll get covered up because all the paints I'm using are opaque. Yeah, manual. He says, or different sand effects besides spray on. Just testing different methods, maybe. It's always good to test your ideas. Yeah, you could do like, maybe you could do um, a print, like print on a big piece of paper or get a print made of sand, put it on like adhesive, and then uh, pour your resin over that. That would be fun. Just mod podge it down. Um... Swamper, you could, did you try Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace Hardware or, you might even try online. I think we got this, we got this at a Home Depot. We did. Yeah, Shelly, that's, that's true, it's always fun to experiment. 
All right, so we're gonna, uh, she's gonna do a, a test piece for a countertops we have to do in LA in a, in a month or so. So uh, how about um, we get this party started, y'all? Yay, hey, party. Happy Thursday. Of course. What? How is it blown out? Like. Because V, I'm over here. It should not be blown out one bit. I literally just set that. They love to hear you talking about how blown out it is. Yeah, most people probably wouldn't even notice. When it's completely white and they can't see any detail, yeah, they can notice. They can? There you have it. Okay. Okay. I have a question. What's up? I'm not quite sure. That's that's the that's I'm the not quite word. sure. I'm not quite sure. I have a question. What is the best resin for this beginner to use? I need time to work with it. The resin I got is like water. You are going to need the resin that we are using today, which is Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. Two hours. Two hour work time. It's and there's bananas. no odor. Let me pop you guys out in here. It's definitely our favorite resin to use for our art layers. It's true. Okay, so how thick should I do these under golds? I don't know. Teresa, I tell people that all the time. She says to get quality, you need to buy quality. Um, this this is not a you know it's not a cheap hobby if, if you're just doing it as a hobby. Um, and I know that there's you know you can you can buy cheap stuff all you want if you're practicing and you don't want to waste you know resin or, or whatever. But you're eventually you're going to waste resin because you you have to use a lot to really make a difference um, in your work and to make sure that it's even and it doesn't get pits or dried edges. Um, so cheap resin isn't good and good resin isn't cheap. That's, that's a saying that I always say. Um, spend, spend a little money on it and you'll be happy with the result. You know? Unfortunately, the working time and UV resistance is what has that price tag attached um, to it? You can get uh, you can get stone coat. We don't sell it. We sell st we sell their art coat, stone coat's art coat, but they also have some that's called uh, craft coat. That's a little cheaper, but it's a lot better than a lot of that faster, you know, cheaper resin out there. But um, it also only has a forty five minute working time. And it has about a forty five minute working time. And that's still good because a lot of those say forty five minutes and they give you about twenty to maybe thirty minutes. So um, it's still a really nice resin, but you definitely have to put a flood coat of art coat or uh, their their uh, countertop coat. Can you point your camera down a little bit? This one here, just a little. Yeah. What about shutting that window? For some reason, it seems like there's a light behind that window and it's like blaring out. That's, that's good. A hundred and eighty for water. Wow. Hmm? Um, am I going to have to say that? All? I'm not quite sure. Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. You might have got some casting resin like 
Casting resin is thinner. What casting, brand was it? Casting resin is pretty thin. Um, so maybe maybe pour some into, uh, you know, like about two or three inches into a cup and hit it with some heat and just let it set overnight and see if it, see if it cures clear or, you know, see what it does. Jerry, ah, okay. Judy, um, Erica is putting down gold leaf right now. She's putting down some veins just to, just to give it some uh, depth underneath the, uh, underneath whatever she's planning on doing um, to the top part. Uh, she's using like a Deco Craft adhesive pen, and then she's just putting down this uh, gold leaf that is attached to the carrier paper. It's a lot. It's a lot less uh, messy and it's a little easier to apply because all you have to do is put your adhesive down, put that, put it on top, give it a little pressure and peel it up and it comes off on your, on your surface there and it stays on the paper and it's not super loose and it can't fly away like the regular. Yeah, we have to do um, a countertop in LA next month. So we're gonna do her a sample board and we're gonna see what this is gonna look like here. And this is the color that she wants. This color is called Cupcake Kink by Bear. Where am I? Where Cupcake. are you? Cupcake. <coughs> so I'm doing just a couple of gold veins just to see if we like what it looks like coming through the piece. Kind of choppy, but it's just for an example. Should I do any coming straight in or just keep the flow? <coughs> um, I don't know. I need some water. Judy, I'll tell you what it's called. There's a there's a title. Oh, I have the here, Gubby. What is it? Does it have the name of it? Yeah, I have the whole package. <coughs> Let me get some water. <coughs> it is Speedball Simple Leaf. Apply adhesive, press, and peel. That looks like that. So, if you guys uh, have seen the new hats that we have out, I made a boy and a girl, Mr. and Mrs. ATD, um, and I redid the girl. I added some eyelashes and a little bit more detail to her. Uh, I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, I added some details to her face. Uh, Erica has it on her shirt right now. If you, um, if she wouldn't to come close to the screen. Busy. So I'm I'm picking I'm I'm weeding one right now just to show you guys on camera here. And I made her a little bit of so she looks a little more girly. <clears throat> huh? Hold on. I haven't. I'm not over there yet. 
Where is that, Lucy? Oh. Hold on a second. Let me try to... There you go. Here, and what I'll do is I'll put... Uh, I'll put this one up here. Hold on. Whoops. You see her little... <laughs> Her little eyelashes. Sorry, this is on gold leaf. Or this is on uh, rose gold. I love it. I'm not going to do too many of these under cracks. Just a little bit to see what it looks like so that client has option if they like the look. I'm going to leave some of the gold broken because, as y'all know, I like to see some. Hold on one second, babe. Jeff Trotter says, been very interested in your work for about two months now. I am from Livingston, Texas. Well, hello, Jeff. Welcome. I am also Jeff. That is Erica. It's me. We are artists till death. We are in Dallas, Texas. Um, so, so I just made this for myself. Um, this is the Mister with uh, kind of a logo thing that I made. My a T-shirt tester. Um, This is rose gold and black. And it looks really good on this white. Um, and the hats are, let me see, I'll show you some hats that we did. We have the blue. There's the little girl. This is before I did the eyelashes. But we have all kinds. We have camo. We have red. We have black. Um, and this blue, I love this blue. They're all on the website, artistofdeath.com. Here's the black with the rose gold. And then the blue hat. The blue hat looks, everything looks good with the blue hat. And then also I made this shirt. I love the shirt. Alright. So yeah. I've got a wallet to do. I was thinking about doing that for y'all live tomorrow. Just a small little wallet. <clears throat> um, we have uh, we have we we have those available. The the girl hats, They're called dad hats, I I believe, mom hats. Um, they have the velcro on the back. like rounded as you can see and they have the velcro strap and we can we can put pretty much any of the logos on these hats as well so I don't think those are on the website though right what these these hats mm -mm. no so if you want one all right, Jeff Trotter says, what kind of heat gun do you use? I get as close to my work as you do and I end up cooking the epoxy. Love the white t-shirt. Thank you, Jeff. Um, we, we use this heat gun that this company sent us and was like, hey, if you just keep telling people what heat gun you use, we'll keep sending you free ones. <laughs> so they just kept sending them to us um, 
and there's not a name and now we can't find them it's just a a, uh, a what do you call it a word or a number right yeah the brand was Amtake oh Amtake and it's an HG something or other but yeah they're not on Amazon anymore and they're not answering emails however do you does your heat gun have like a temperature gauge like can you tell what heat setting you're using yeah it might be just just too hot of a temperature um, and it might it might be that it doesn't blow enough air so you're if you're trying to move it and it's just heat on there you'll cook it really fast um, this that's what we love about these these heat guns that we that we have and I've I've literally redone like three or four of them just so that we can keep using them because she doesn't wipe her hands when she uses it so the trigger gets stuck so I just cut out around the trigger around the on and off button and then repainted them the resin peels right off of them and it just it blows enough air to move it and you're not cooking it and also there's a low and a high switch so it's really low and you can turn it one up and it blows more air out and on the back of it I'll show you I'm gonna set this for you so I don't water. on the back this is a temperature gauge like you turn it all the way to the left and it'll be just air and you can do medium you can do all the way super hot I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure what temperature it goes to though. Yeah, it doesn't have a temperature reading on it, but. Well, Manuel, we, we got sent also by Wagner. Um, they, they contacted us and sent us one of these. Um, and it has a temperature gauge, but it's. It doesn't blow. It doesn't blow a, a lot of air. Like it's, it's not a very powerful gun. And it's just, you have to wait or I don't know is it's it's not difficult to use but it's just yeah we just we just really didn't didn't uh didn't I like to use it for my alcohol ink. yeah she'll use it for alcohol inks um and you can set the temperature on here there's just something about it about if you want to change it you have to turn it off and then let it cool down and turn it back on and something I'm not sure we just we haven't and there's a setting for wind for the air and it's just it doesn't blow that much air all right so we're we doing mainly white or mainly pink i don't know whatever you think i have i have no idea those veins look awesome they're all right i'm not that happy with them but they're going to be under the other color so i'm not stressed out about it either you know Alright, I'm going to do, I'm thinking about just putting the Milky Way into this. Yeah, that'll look good. If I can find it. I do not have a lot of Milky Way left. I have it on order if you guys have been waiting on Milky Way. If you've never tried Milky Way, I don't know what you're doing with your life. It's by Resin Art, and their pigments are the sparkliest that's not glitter ever. Someone tells me I should have made more resin for some reason. We'll find out. I'll just make more if you need to. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Pamela. Yeah. Oh, it looks 
like it. I would almost leave a countertop looking like this if I did like the vein work better. So I'm pre-flooding it with our Milky Way mix. And it's just going to give us a nice <coughs> subtle yet impressive sparkle. <clears throat> it's funny, you can see the sparkle on the overhead. <laughs> too much tuna. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make these into stickers. These uh, the girl and the boy. Um, make those into stickers as well. You just can't get too small because it takes a while to weed to weed those. If it's small, then all the little middle parts want to come up out of the sticker thing. And it's just, so I'll probably have to make them about two and a half, two and a half, maybe two inches. Emma, you are 26 minutes late, but um, all that she's done is painted the board. What is it? Bubble gum? Cotton candy? Cupcake. Cupcake pink, and then laid down some... Uh, gold leaf foil veins and then now she flood coated it with a little milky way in there megan or megan megan please can you answer a question can i use the chameleon pigment in a clear or just give it a hint of tint and color change as a top accent coat like, put the chameleon in your flood just a little bit and flood coat it, so it would give it a... You could. I would still recommend a black background, especially if you're doing just a hint. Yeah. I don't see why not. Like, I think that'd be interesting. Like, if you just put a little bit... It would definitely be interesting. You should just try that. Just do like a coaster, a black coaster. Add a little chameleon to the to the clear and just put it down like, and just let it dry. And I bet if you could tilt it a little, I bet it would look awesome. Who makes Milky Way, please? Definitely need it in my life. Resin art. You can get it on our website, artisttilldeath.com. Did you say it was out? Yes. But it's on order, so I should have it really soon. They're really good about shipping really fast to me. I'm having to mix up just a little bit more resin. I could see doing this and adding like cherry blossoms. Oh yeah. With some silver? Mm-hmm. That would look nice. Just just make a stamp. Mm -hmm. And just put it like put it in that in the sticky stuff and just stamp, 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 stamp all over and then just throw a bunch of <laughs> throw a bunch of sheets of silver leaf down and let it set for thirty minutes. Mm hmm Trisha wants to know, is there a huge difference between Milky Way and Diamond Dust from Stone Coat? What's up, yeah, Clara? Milky Way is a, a larger particle size. It's still really good. Diamond Dust is awesome. Um, but Milky Way sparkles like all the colors very subtly. Um, and Diamond Dust is just a white shimmer. 
So it's similar, but not the same. My kingdom for a resin mixer. Does anyone arms hurt after like one second of stirring resin? Mine did. trying to save a bit because if we do this like we did the one in Miami, which I still need to post a video for, um, we added veins of Halo, mm -hmm. so I'm saving some to do veins of Milky Way. That's way more like it. Okay. Get this spread out just a little bit. You don't have to go crazy with trying to make sure it's even because it self levels, especially since there's a two hour working time, there's a lot of time for it to self level. Countertop people are gonna probably get onto me for not using- Megan, thank you very much. It's Megan. Uh, for not using a one eighth inch notch trowel. Please tell Miss E, thank you for taking, for talking with me today, I didn't get payment to go through on the site and figured it out then. I'm not quite sure it said that. Huh? I'm not quite sure it said, please tell Miss E, thank you for taking, talking with me today. Oh, anytime. I did get payment to go through on the site. I figured it out. Yeah. I'm gonna put together some color. Virginia says, you can come to my house and do my countertops and video. And video. It's crazy because we always negotiate into our agreements for doing count. Can we open this? It may be a little bit sticky. When we negotiate for doing countertop, um, we always let people know that we're probably going to be filming. So I hope you're cool with it. So our dusky pink number one from Color Obsession is a pretty daggum close match to this color. So I'm gonna utilize it in, maybe it's a little bit peachier, a little bit paler, but not by much. So I'm gonna utilize this color Definitely cool with it. Claire says, Erica, both Rhonda and Mike have mentioned using hands with smaller boards. No, I feel better then. That's so close. What is it? Yeah, but it'll be a different color though, so it'll probably look nice. It's just slightly lighter, I think, so. Are we gonna do like old school and just pour it in random and then just kind of blend it together? I'm gonna do a, like a light brush over. Do you have extra clear? Cause you know how it looks good when you, when you do that and then you put clear down and let it set. So it gives yeah, it like a little milky. canal. Ah. Remember we did that and then we did it with Halo and liked it better? What's next? Next color is Color Obsession Snow White. I just got more of this in today. If you have been looking for your Snow White fix, get after it. I haven't sent out an email letting people know that they're in stock. So you guys are actually the first to know. Um, I order 150 of these at a time and they sell out within 10 days to two weeks. 
because it's just that good. Can I call and discuss countertops? Sure. Of course you can. Give me a call tomorrow. I'm probably not going to be on the cell phone the rest of today um, so that I can get some more orders out. <clears throat> be fun Claire she said Erica's shirt gave me a shirt idea a row vertical of different ATD logos going down the shirt we can make it Ooh, what about like going down the spine can you mix resin different brands together we we've done it by it. accident we did it one time we did craft code and art code oh. so I'm also going to mix a little bit of resin art platinum I don't know if we'll end up using it it's one of my favorite pinks to use because it's like a silvery uh oh <laughs> Cujo <laughs> Cujo that's enough he got up high oh, it must be that golden so it is on the darker side but I'm thinking it might what be. What is that? I was just saying that, but it is. It's <clears throat> Platinum Rose from Resin Art. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep this on the side in case we decide that there needs to be some kind of depth to yeah. the piece. That will be a dark shade that we use. All right, let's give ourselves some room. <laughs> Mary Smith said, sorry guys, not resin related, but I'm so excited football starts tonight. What? Yeah. We'll let you say that one time, but no more. <laughs> um, Guys, we're all football here. Do what? Who plays tonight? I think the Chiefs and the Rams, I think. So I'm going to take a quick video of this at this point. You can, Nicole, you can try on Amazon. We sell it in little bitty, in little bitty vials on our website. Some gold. I'm going to be taking videos throughout this process. Mike Reed, what up? To show Ooh. the client. Why do I get nervous doing this part? I know. It takes you back to the beginning. No, I just don't want it to be busy. Just little by little. I should have went through and watched some of our old videos. <laughs> Watch ourselves. Give ourselves some confidence from ourselves. Basically. Just don't, don't start it busy. And it won't be busy. Don't start none, won't be none. Is there that you go. Said to me? Okay. I couldn't find on Amazon anymore. Yeah, just little wispies. So I'm just lightly running my hand over the surface to drag the paint. Not mix the paint. Just drag it through. How's your day, Mr. Mike Reed? You know what? This looks really awesome where it's like lighter white and a darker, like more opaque white. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my little bit of existing white that I have left and add more white paste to it so that it's more opaque. And it'll give us that depth in the color. Kansas and Houston. You mean Kansas City? Kansas City gonna whoop Houston. 
I'll start it. You'd be sweet. If any other team I, I have to cheer for, I want to cheer for, that's Kansas City. Because I'm from Wichita, Kansas. So the cool thing about having resin pigment paste is that if you add too much of it, all that's going to happen is you're just wasting paint. You're not going to set off your resin early. Like if you use acrylic paints, you have to stick to a really strict rule of not adding too much. goodness. I have cells popping up in this. How hard did I work to get cells the other day? <laughs> I think I want to turn that camera sideways so they can see it. People still watch football. No, well, it's gonna start. Just, I love football. They say that Jerry Jerry Jones said, or our, our mayor of our city said, y'all can come to the stadium. <laughs> I don't know. Jerry Jones, the mayor. No, or the mayor. I don't know. Oh. So it's important when you do a countertop example not to tilt the piece unless you're going to unless you have access to be able to tilt the final piece. Like I really want to tilt this because it'll look way more realistic, but I can't. So I'm just gonna have to use heat to push it around a little bit. I'm just gonna create some movement with the heat gun. Which pink color is used tonight? So far, the only pink used was the. Um, we had to we had base. to go mix it from uh, Home Depot. It was cupcake pink. Right. Looks like Vamp found some gold. What's up, Vamp? I don't even know you're in the room. You're just creeping and searching for gold. <laughs> ghost watches sometimes. Shane hanging out in the, and lurking in the background. What's up, Cindy? I'm not quite sure. Said so got up and walked today. Very proud of herself. That's awesome. Ocean, aloha. Aloha. Y'all, how hard did I work to get cells the other day? Look at this. Easy peasy. Look at them. Can you see them? Mm, kind of, not really. It's so light. like, And I can't turn it up, so... Hard to see. Tell the DJ turn it up. Yeah. Susan, there's a there's pink a there's a pink base down, but it's it's house paint that we got from Home Depot. It's called Cupcake Pink. I'm just gonna give up on the heat gun when I'm doing my ocean because this is like the perfectest cells for an ocean. Ocean, you should you should find out where Mike is and go meet him in Hawaii. Right. Um. Maybe he's on a different island now. I think he's on the big island. Megan says, "Who's down for a Florida class?" We are. She's about to say we are. Yeah, Bradenton. If anybody's near Bradenton, let us know and we'll put a class together. We love us in Bradenton. It's so nice over there. And Megan, I want to drive your little um, 
Your vroom vroom. Your little car. I love that little Volkswagen. Okay, I'm gonna take, is the face camera on? Um, it is. No. But it's very, uh, it's very blown out. Why is there so much light? It looks like you have a light on. Let me, let me turn it down a little bit. Oh, there you go. You can see him now. Like. That's great. They're the most oceany cells I've ever gotten with just using my hand. Yeah, that looks great. Like, I almost want to make you get up and come see, like, in person. I can see him. Uh, now that looks really dark. All right. Do we want to add the dark? I don't know. You're looking straight into that camera, though. <laughs> you want to add it or no? Here, show them again. Why does it look like there's a light on the overhead? Oh, I'm so sick of this. How does it change when I don't even mess with it? I don't know, but... What's the consensus? Hold on. I'm looking. Do it. Thumbs up. Yes. Do it. Yes. Little streaks. Yes. Real. It's real. Retry. If you do. What? Yes, add. I say yes. Yes. Puppy cam. <laughs> Continue with it. Hmm. Oh, you put one down. I don't know. Maybe blend it in. It looks too much. I don't know. I can't really. It's not that noticeable, but then again, it's continue, carry on, like, love that. Who is on the Big Island, Jeff? Uh, Mike from Stone Coat Countertop and his family. They're read, they're, uh, they have an awesome house over there. He's having a blast over there with his family. It is rose gold, right? It is. He has to quarantine at his house recording. Oh, he's been there for about two months. He's That's been there true. for a while. <laughs> Y'all can see me eating my pistachios. Emma, we did. They gave us some uh, Vegemite. They gave us some Toasties. They gave us some TikToks. What are they called? Tam Tams. Tam Tams. Those are good. 
Ocean, that's what we did. Uh, oh, goodness. Bowie pants. He's talking to me over here. You ready to come up here, buddy? Let me move all this stuff first. He just did the hammer, hammer. You can't deny that hammer, hammer. Can't. That's when he's serious. That's when he's really serious. I'm gonna let on. that sink a little bit. It's messy up here, Bowie. You don't want to be up here just yet. So with this, I'm just blending it out some. So it's not quite as harsh of a line. to add this color do a side test and see how different it is it's a little bit on the peachy side I don't know if you guys can even tell yeah I'm gonna make some v-necks I have some I have some shirts coming that I'd like to make uh, they're a little higher high-end shirts um, they'll be black and white and it's, it's the shirt that I have on right now, but just in black and white, and the bottom is a little longer than normal, so it looks kind of nice dress casual. Can you tell those colors there? Yeah. This light color? Oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we can, I can get black, uh, black v-necks, not a problem. I'm going to take a video of this status before we move on with the next color anyways. <clears throat> this lighter color and see how we like it. Can you guys even see that color that I just put down? My assistant just walked off. I think I like the darker color in there. It gives a little extra depth to the piece. Um, can you see this color I just put down? The peachy color? Do you think it goes okay with the cupcake? Yeah, it's just a little bit different contrast. It's cool. Things to go. Should I put more of the dark color in? No. I think you're right. I would do those clear veins. Dog walk time. All right. We'll see you later, Mike. Yeah, I'll get some. I'll get some uh, black and white. Uh, I'll probably do black, white, red blue or something depends on if people want them ideas what's up you're working on a rainbow piece oh yes belly pants loves that uh ramona we can get tank tops i just got one today um 
Yeah, the snoring. Um, but yeah, well, I'll have to see what, what kind, uh, what kind of vest, like the Razorback or just a regular tank top. <coughs> Excuse me. Trisha says, Erica, the dark color makes it beautiful. Love the dark color. Looks like pink marble. Sweet. That is the goal. I'm adding some alumalite white opaque dye to this dusky pink color. See if I can kind of Bless pale it out. Bless you a bit. all around. <laughs> we'll see you, Jude. Hey, Jude. Oh, here I'll leave. Some lines of basically clear with a little bit of <clears throat> Milky Way in it to make some breaks. In the design. We started doing this on a countertop job we did in Miami and it looked so awesome. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I flipped it. I flipped it vertical. So doing this basically just parts the way. Parts all the color so you can see through to your base color. If you have a base color that you like. For this job in particular, she gave us the base color that she wants on her countertop. So... We definitely want to make that the star of the show. I'm going to see if I can move that for you all. I'm not a fan of that angle. Trying to make it to where that I don't I don't like seeing that shadow in there. Cool. Tilt that camera down. Now I'm going to take a video of this as it is, and then I'm going to add gold veins with our liquid gold. And that will be all the test pieces for today. Yeah, Emma, this is a test piece for a, for a, a countertop uh, that we have to do in L.A. next month. 
Now that I have the video taken for the client, I just want to see what it looked like if I sh shift it with a tilt. Do not do this and show your client if you can't tilt the board you're working on. Yeah. which you can actually do. I love being able to see all the little glistening glitteries. Let me tilt something that has glitter in it. Okay. Now. All right, now it wants to. Huh? It's not focusing on one camera because there's no detail. I'm going to use this uh, liquid gold from Montana. Usually you can find this online on Amazon or Blick. If you want to just try it before you buy the big bottle, I sell. 20 mil vials on our website, artistsofdeath.com. Yeah, that just blows it out too. Whenever I use this stuff, it's basically just spray paint that's not an aerosol. I always let it soak up whatever it is that makes it liquid or keeps it liquid, whatever the enamel base is. I try to let that soak up into a piece of paper so that I can control the width of my veins when I put it onto a piece. Also, I always do a roadside test and see how wide the line spreads. And this one looks pretty good. So, now we're gonna add some little line accents. Oh, now it doesn't want to. Do it. <laughs> oh, this camera angle is just doesn't want to agree with me today. Sorry for all the swapping, y'all. Soul says, first time seeing this look. Looks fun. I have a project in mind now. Oh, good. I always love helping people figure out projects. If it'll stay focused, I'm going to swap it over. Let me just see if I can take off. Think Bowie pants. Hmm. Gold is the cherry on top. Thanks, Lori. Beautiful, okay. says Dor Dorian. What's your new name? Given the opportunity to do this piece again, I probably would not use the dusky pink. It went a little bit too peach. Um, I would do two versions of white. I would do just a little bit of pigment in a white, and then I would add more pigment to make it more of an impressive um, bright white. And those are the only two things I would do differently. No reason, just resin. Says, love that gold, it pops. Ideas ask, is this a test piece for a countertop? It is. Yes, sir.
Yeah, and we'll have to. You'll have to do a flood coat if you do something like this, with all this gold and, and the and the glitter and the and the and the Milky Way and stuff. Uh, you'll have to flood coat this. So take that in consideration when doing something like this for a client, because you want that gold and all that glitter to stay uh, stay in there. Yeah, you don't want it to wear out. And this gold will wear off being just that it floats on the surface so this is what the final well, yeah. test piece looks like i don't know what <laughs> camera you're on overhead i feel like she's good on both pants i think this will make ears. an right amazing kitchen countertop she wants it to match her stand mixer that's why she chose the colors So I'll just show you guys what I'm dealing with right here. <laughs> Mr. Bowie Pants. What's this? What do you think, Bowie? Hmm? That's just gorgeous. Thank you. This is Bowie, if you're new to the channel. Boa pants, boa pants, boa pants. <laughs> Bowie, do you see yourself? <laughs> you don't want to look at himself. He's like me. I'm like, mm, I don't like this. I don't like to see myself on the camera. Come on, Boa pants. He's just watching his mama. Hey, man. Oh, oh no, we saw we, we, we still got the kittens. You gotta show them what? Well, what you're right Cecil here. Like. Sea soul. Let me turn. This looks a little. Uh, look I'll a be. little. Let me take him back over here. Okay, well, I'm just getting ready to... Oh, I just figured he, the lights were better over here. It's really not, because for some reason it gives it a really bad uh, glare. Okay. can't even see the stones I added. I'll post it in four people's. It's gonna be way too bright. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it so bright? Gosh. Let's see, hold on. Flash rock. No, oh, you can't really see them. Dead Too bright. I'm gonna post it in ATD's poor people. You will love how Cecil turned out. Cecil. Or just take it and put it flat over there if you want. Put it flat over here? Yeah. Yeah, it's still just too bright. That it's such a reflection. It just blows out the camera. Alright, y'all. I think that's it. I think that's the end of the live feed for today. So I'm going to be able to see it. I'm trying. I want them to see it. I'm so proud of Cecil. Still no. Too many reflections. Sure, you can see what you guys look like in the reflection. <laughs> oh, well. Good night. We'll see you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us tonight, y'all. Yeah, it's all that bling. I know it. Now I have to go do stuff. <laughs> I know.
Thank you guys. We appreciate it. You want to come back up? Um, so yeah, we appreciate your uh, joining us today. Short little hour and ten minute video. Well, we uh, we're probably gonna start going live early, like around five or six, because we, we our feed doesn't we really crash. didn't have issues with it at that time. So, um, but every now and again we we'll, we might just probably try to go at eight if people, you know, get the only time off. Let watch. us know what you think about that. Yeah. Have a good night. Hope you got my donation. Well, thank you, Trisha. We, we will, appreciate we'll it. See. Um, so here's all of our social media stuff. If you want to go check us out. Um, and make sure you go to uh, our website, artistelldeath.com, and get the Pour With Us kit. It's a kit that includes everything you need to pour a galaxy. A uh, chameleon galaxy mm -hmm. it's going to mm -hmm. be awesome um, and it's basically a free class you just have to buy the kit and tune in live September 25th 8pm Central Standard Time no 6 uh, Six. I've been saying 8 it's six. I think it's we change it to 6 because it just gets too late and uh, well, we, don't want, want the feed to cut out and we don't want the feed to cut out in the middle of a class so I think we changed it um, you have up until the 20, no, the 17th to order it to make sure that it gets to you on time. Anytime after the 17th, we can't promise that it'll get to you because of FedEx and, you know, their delivery stuff is pretty out of whack right now. And they, they actually said it, that, you know, their deliveries uh, are late. So we just suggest you get it before the 17th so it gets to you before the 25th. So with that said, be kind to of one another. Um, you never know what somebody's going through. Um, you guys have an awesome Thursday night and uh, an awesome Friday to you in Australia. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow, which will be Friday. So have an awesome night. We'll see you later. Bye. He said bye. <laughs> this shirt feels good too. Oh, now it's looking all pretty.